The hero wakes up in the morning and the hospital's empty. No trace of the hunters or their master. But Margaret is nearby, handcuffed, with a file containing all the evidence of her guilt beside her. And a note. The hunt can't be stopped. The lantern will always light for Yeah, yeah, and then you have to shout, There's the lantern now! Sure. No, oh, come on, everyone knows this story. I know a really scary story. It happened 20 years ago in a small town near here. It's true, too. It happened to Alan Bradford. The horror writer? Wow, this books are really creepy. Oh, shush. Just listen to the story. My aunt was there. She told me all about it. It all started with a fire. So, let it begin. Dear Carolyn, I know that I haven't reached out for many years, but many people are in danger, and I need your help. I can imagine how you feel about me, but I can only apologize for past mistakes, and hope you'll forgive me. Fate tried to show me how important you are in my life, and now it seems I've learned the lesson the hard way. Please, come immediately. Forever yours, Alan. Oh, Alan. I can't just ignore a plea like that. Even after everything that happened between us, or maybe because of everything, except one mistake. Alan? Eight years, and nothing at all has changed here. That's small town life for you. Okay, where's Alan? Alan? Hello? Where did he go? Let me in! Please! He's coming! What the hell was that? This could be trouble. new book. I haven't read it yet.
appeared on the outskirts of Quiet Peak continues to spread. An official investigation into the cause has yielded no results so far, though the leading theory is a chemical leak. The police strongly recommend that residents, especially young children and the elderly, stay inside their homes. Keep protective clothing and essentials prepared, and stay tuned as we receive further updates. A mysterious mist. What is happening to Quiet Peak? later. Run! You better read that. It's Alan's diary. You're Caroline, right? I recognized you from the photo. Alan asked that you be taken off the train in case of trouble. My name is Frank Bell. I'm a longtime friend and colleague of Alan's. The city is in danger. Alan is somewhere out there now, and only my machine can help. set up at Alan's house. We're almost there. Here we are. Sorry for the brevity, but we have very little time. Inside, hurry. Oh no, not now. This strange mist hides a terrible monster. Quick, get the batteries from the table and use them to power the machine. It will protect us. Excellent. We're safe. For now. Unfortunately, the machine requires special energy from these blue batteries. I've placed traps throughout the city that gather the energy. My machine can remove the mist from part of the city. I'll show you. Follow me. See? That area is safe now. I need to go into town to collect more charged batteries so the machine can clear the mist from the whole city. Help me collect charged blue batteries. We must keep this monster out of the city, or hundreds of innocent people will die. Hey, who the heck are you? Get out of here! The resort's closed, 
And if you see that blonde guy around, tell him too. Is he talking about Alan? If he's here, I should look around. Here's Frank's trap. I need to get a charged battery out of it. Alan should be somewhere in the resort. I need to go back and continue searching for him. Alan has always loved fishing. Maybe he stopped here. I need to search the boathouse for clues to his whereabouts. I think this is Alan's handwriting, and it sounds like there's something inside. Hmm, W42. What could that mean? Hey, you again. I told you to stay away. Are you still here? 
Where did he go? Oh, there's another battery here. There's only the guest house left. Alan must be there. Alan, wait! Oh no, the monster! won't last long. I need to find a way to hold it off longer. I hope Alan's okay. Thank you. 
I can use a cupboard to barricade the window. Another battery. Now I need to get rid of the monster and get out of here. Then she threw a nitrogen tank into the water, and the monster froze, allowing her to escape. That's great, but where would I get liquid nitrogen? Hmm... Is that you? Open up. It's me, Frank. Frank! Oh, thank goodness! The monster was here, but I got rid of it with liquid nitrogen. The monster doesn't like the cold, eh? Well, at least now we know it's vulnerable. Come on, let's start the machine again. This should be enough energy. Connect the last battery, and I'll prepare the machine. We still have a chance to save this city. The machine will remove the mist around the bookstore, where Alan sold books. Alan was at the store often. Look for him there, while it's safe. I'll prepare the machine for the next use. Then, I'll go back into the city for more batteries. We'll need three batteries for next time. Well... Here's the store. Frank asked for more batteries, so I should inspect everything before I go inside. Oh, you poor cat. How did you even get in there? Don't worry, I'll get you out. Ah. Hey, don't scratch. I'm trying to help you. Don't scratch. I'm trying to help you. Ah. Hey, 
Hey, don't scratch. I'm trying to help you. Scratch! I'm trying to help you. Charles Bright. Sudden death. Eight years ago today, Professor Charles Bright died under mysterious circumstances. Many feel the effects of this tragedy on a personal level. Charles always treated his students with understanding and respect, but some still claim that his death was no accident. Charles Bright? He was our old teacher. No accident. Why would they think that? I need more details about this. This trap is broken, and there are no batteries in it. Someone must have taken them. The trap was broken, and the batteries were missing. I need to keep searching this area. I don't see Alan, but there might be batteries. I should inspect everything while I'm here. How is this possible? The monster from the book came to life to chase the townspeople.
I need to go back and talk to those people in the car. They might know something about Alan. Hi there. It's nice to see a human face around here. Who are you? How did you get here? We're investigating the murder of Charles Bright. We wanted to ask Alan Bradford a few questions, but he ran away. And then this monster appeared. So you believe that Charles was killed? The evidence is indirect, but solid. We're sure that someone tried to cover up a murder. We've documented the information we collected about the investigation. Take a look if you have a chance. How do you think Alan is involved? I know him, and he's a good man. According to our intel, Alan is definitely tied to the situation. By the way, he lost his wallet when he ran off down the alley. Here's your picture. Thanks. I'll talk to Alan when I catch up with him. Please send him to us. We don't blame him for anything. We just want the truth. Hope to see you soon. I need to check the alley where Alan ran away. Alan! Wait! Frank? Oh no! I don't think it saw me. I have to get back to the house and find a way to banish it. I saw Alan running towards the dam. The machine is ready. You just need to connect the batteries. You can do it without me. Meet me at the dam afterward. Alan keeps my picture in his wallet. He still thinks about me. Alan. We've almost learned how to interact with Essence. Please come back. We need to continue our experiments. Your friend, Frank. Essence? Experiments? Frank is hiding something. This key must fit somewhere in Alan's house. I'll need to look around. We were all shocked when Charles died. I couldn't fathom that it was anything but a terrible accident. How wrong I was. This realization was a terrible feeling. A chill crept over me as I learned that the truth was hiding in our affable group of college friends. This feeling changed me. Ultimately, we are all guilty. Alan seems to think that his college friends were involved in the murder. This will help stop the monster. The mist is closing in. I need more batteries to start Frank's machine again.
The machine is working. Now I need to head to the dam to meet with Frank. Frank's note said that he saw Alan. I'll meet them at the dam. I need to open this gate to get into the dam. Frank saw Alan around here. I need to hurry. Alan? Emergency. All security doors are now locked. Direct control panel access required to unlock doors. I can turn off the alarm and open the door from this panel. Hey, how did you get here? Are you following me, Kitty? Nitrogen tank near the dam, eh? That should come in handy. Great. That should do it. What is that? Oh no! No, 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 no! Come on! Frank said he left a tank near the dam. I can use it to get rid of the monster and open the door. It's Alan! He's still here! I need to find a way to get to him. I should be able to get to Alan through that door. Here's the nitrogen. Now I have to go back to the control room. I'm out of options. 
The door will only open from the control room. Where did it go? Oh no! It destroyed everything! I have to fix the panel to open the door to Alan. Okay, the panel works. Now to open the door. I should be able to reach Alan now. Ugh, electronic locks aren't very reliable. Carolyn, what are you doing here? You asked me to come here in your letter. What letter? I didn't send you anything. I didn't want you here. It's too dangerous. Listen, Frank and are I were- you with Frank? No, no, I told him I'd never join him. Get away from me. Alan, please. I want to help. No, you betrayed me. No, no, no. Get away, Carolyn. Run, he's coming. Alan, are you doing this? Why didn't the nitrogen work? Get away from me! No! And then, the monster grabbed Caroline as she fainted. Oh no! So, Alan summoned the monster? Is that the end of the story? Oh no, it's not the end. We're just getting started. <laughs>